Ein Closer Ties, Pakistan's new premier invites President Raisi to Islamabad. Pakistan's newly appointed Prime Minister Shabaz Sharif has invited President Sayyid Ibrahim Raisi on an official visit to Pakistan, hoping to establish closer relations with Tehran. According to Press TV, in a tweet on Monday, Pakistan's embassy in Tehran said Sharif has thanked President Raisi for his congratulatory message on his election. He hoped that they will work together to enhance close ties between the two countries and also extended an invitation to Mr. Raisi to visit Pakistan, it said. In an earlier message, Raisi offered his congratulation to the Pakistani Prime Minister, expressing readiness to boost bilateral relations in all fields, hoping to reach a desirable level of cooperation. Pakistan is one of Iran's most important neighbors hoping for stronger trade ties with Tehran, whose ties with other countries have been severely undermined under brutal U.S. sanctions. Back in January, the Pakistani parliament voiced its dissatisfaction over the low level of trade relations between Tehran and Islamabad, with lawmakers criticizing the government for its inaction in circumventing the sanctions to boost bilateral trade ties. According to a report by the Express Tribune, Chairman of the Standing Committee on Commerce and Pakistan's National Assembly Naveed Kamar had demanded explanations from senior trade officials in the country about why trade ties with Iran were extremely low. Pakistan, with its large consumer market, holds immense potential for trade with regional countries, particularly Iran. The two countries, in an attempt to remove obstacles in the path of bilateral trade and investment, have stepped up efforts to tap the vast potential that exists between them. Last September, during the 9th Joint Trade Committee meeting between Iran and Pakistan in Tehran, the two sides agreed to revive the stalled talks on the free trade agreement and raise the volume of annual trade from less than $1 billion to $5 billion by 2023. Sharif's Cabinet Takes Oath Meanwhile, Sharif's 34-member cabinet, made up of allied political parties, was sworn in on Tuesday, state television reported. The portfolios for the cabinet members have not yet been announced. The ceremony was scheduled for Monday, but media reports said President Arif Alvi refused to administer the oath to the legislators, compelling the government to postpone it. Senate Chairman Sadiq Sanrani administered the oath to new ministers after President Arif Alvi excused himself from attending the ceremony. The swearing-in comes a week after Parliament elected Sharif to replace Imran Khan, who was removed on April 9. In protest, Khan said he was the subject of a foreign conspiracy aimed at dislodging his government and that funding was being channeled into Pakistan from abroad, making a clear reference to the United States. 